Hello everybody, my name is Jodie. I'm a mixed media artist living in Melbourne, Australia, and I'm going to do an illustration of my Cavoodle Gigi. Uh, so I'll quickly say I'm sorry for any jitters and weird angles with the footage. I was holding the camera the whole time I was drawing, which uh, was not the best, but I have that sorted out now, so future videos should be a little better. But we'll just make do for this one. Uh, so here, I'm blocking in the base sketch using watercolour pencil, uh, just putting in details and making adjustments. I hadn't planned out the image before I started, I was happy just to improvise and make it up. Uh, so I'm putting in some rough shapes for pine trees uh, behind Gigi, just trying to create uh, a bit of a forest in the background. And I'll come down to the bottom and put in some lettering for Gigi's nickname. And that's pretty much all I need to do for the base sketch, so on to outlines. I thought I would skip doing this with my pen, but I picked it up out of habit and started doing the outline, so I just kept going. And actually I think it worked to my advantage in the end, uh, I'll mention why uh, a little bit later in the video. But I'm basically just going over the top of everything, adding in any little extra details that I think I might need. So this is actually a brown ink pen. Uh, I prefer brown over black. And just putting in the trees, the lettering down the bottom. Uh, I actually end up adding more pine trees and some extra details off camera, uh, which you'll see right about here. And now I'm doing the wash. So this is walnut ink diluted with some water, and I'm just putting it on pretty quick and messy. Uh, this is so that I'll be starting to work from a more of a mid-tone rather than straight onto white. Uh, it's also going to really help mute down my colours a lot, which are very vibrant, so this brown will just help them make make them seem not, not as intensely bright. Uh, so once that dries off a bit, I'll come in and do a similar thing with a darker wash. Uh, this time I'm only just going to go over Gigi. So I just want to uh, create a darker value here so that she stands out some more and becomes more of the focal point of the image. Uh, it'll also help with her darker coloured fur a little later on as well. So once that settles in, I'm going to put a light wash over the frontmost pine trees, just make them stand out a little bit. And then a few darker areas and shadows on Gigi's face. And then we're on to colour. So I'm just going to block in roughly how I imagined. Uh, so blue at the back here, where the trees are receding into the distance. Uh, working my way up to this blue-green in the middle. And then at the front, uh, coming into more of a warm tone of green, maybe with a bit of yellow mixed in. So trying to create some perspective with uh, more cool colours at the back and warmer colours at the front. Uh, once I've got that all settled in, I'm happy with it. I'm just going to try to blend the two, again using that uh, bluey green colour to create a nice gradient between the blue at the back and the yellow green at the front. Uh, next, I'm blocking in this orangey yellow colour on the uh, floor where the pine needles will be. So this is just a base colour, I'll go over it after. And uh, same with the sky, a light wash of blue. And I'm going to come over both of them now with brown, so this will bring the colour closer to what I want it to be. But I do want that orangey yellow to show through underneath, so I'm just putting this on pretty quick and loose and messy. Uh, and I'm going to come through with uh, a lighter wash of brown for the sky, just to grey it out and make it look kind of more stormy and dark. So next, onto Gigi. Uh, I'm just using a wash of black watercolour uh, to try to capture all the different grey tones throughout her fur, uh, and also working in any darker areas, so around her eyes in particular. Uh, I actually put this down a little bit too dark, but doesn't matter, I'll just wet my brush a little and blend the colours around and create some smoother transitions. Uh, so next I'm going to grab uh, sort of like a golden orange for her eyes and use some darker black for her nose and then some brown over her pupils. So moving on to the pencils, I'm going to just create some really basic shadows, a few little details and textures focusing most of my attention on the pine trees at the front. Uh, details will become less and less as I move backwards, and I'm also going to switch to uh, more of a blue-green for the shadows in the midground. 
and then uh, blue gray at the back. Uh, I also want to make these trees sort of fade out or seem like they're receding even more so I go over them with this very pale blue uh, and the opposite at the front I use this uh, yellowy orange to warm up the tones of the front pine trees. Uh, next I'm just going to go around on the ground and scribble in some little bits of texture in a couple of different colors. Try to keep it uh, random so that it's you know interesting. Uh, I also want to put in some rain in the background um, just to make it look like it's drizzly or stormy. And then on to Gigi. So just creating the white color of her beard which I thought maybe seemed a little bit too blue. So I go over with a little bit of orange and brown. And uh, I'll keep working on Gigi, uh, maybe putting in some darker colors around her eyes and just working my way around. Also blocking in some highlights on her ears, anywhere I think light would maybe catch a little bit and some using the same color to make some sort of silver around her mouth. Then putting in some light highlights, I'll come back and make those a bit darker after and just cleaning up her eyes, making the whites a bit whiter and making sure the colors are nice and crisp because that's a focal point of the image. Uh, next, just a little bit of dark color at the base of these pine trees to ground them a bit and uh, more texture all over the ground, this time with a darker color that sort of stands out a little bit more. And uh, back onto Gigi, just working my way around, uh, blending between the light tones, mid tones uh, and darks. Also just making sure I've got the shadowy areas a bit darker as well. And then I'm just moving around, blending the colors, trying to make everything uh, nice and coherent without looking flat. Uh, then I'll just come in, darken up her nose, make sure it looks nice and shiny. And then uh, come back to really make those highlights stand out with a white pencil and put some little shine details throughout her fur. Uh, I also decide I want to try to create a bit of a glow in her eyes. So I use this uh, pale yellow and then some orange over the top to sort of make it look like her eyes are being lit up a little bit by some sunshine. So on to outlining with the pencils. So this is where the ink outlines uh, work to my advantage because I could easily tell where all the lines needed to go. Uh, they hadn't gotten lost with the watercolors so it made it really easy for me to just go over the top uh, with the pencils. So I'm just using a darker tone than what's already on the page. So I'm using a warmer hue of green for the trees. Uh, and with Gigi, I'm just using a dark gray. So rather than using black, uh, I'm trying to sort of work from the colors that I already have on the page so that everything, you know, works together nicely. And uh, I think it comes out looking a bit more interesting too than just using like a flat black. Um, so yeah, just going over all the little bits and pieces, a little mouth and eyes. And this is how it's looking at this point. So we'll keep going, do the lettering down the bottom. Um, and then I decide I want to suggest some little pine mushrooms. So I scribble those in with this uh, orange pencil. And then I'm just gonna go around, do the lines over the top of the pine needles. And I feel like I want a bit more variation down here. So I grab a different color and just throw in a few more little details. Uh, then with this orange pencil, I'm going to turn it sideways and just kind of try to brush in sort of some orange glow over some of the lighter areas where maybe some sunlight might be lighting things up a little bit. Uh, and I decide to use the same color to go all the way over the top of Gigi just to warm up her tones, make her come forward in the image. And uh, then just some very simple uh, highlights on the edges of the frontmost pine trees with this pale yellow. Uh, I also wanted to just make these uh, backmost trees drop out some more so I go over the lines with that uh, pale blue to make them just fade out a bit. The last step here is to just do one more wash over Gigi with that walnut ink. So This just ties everything together, cleans up some of the edges and then uh, that's about it. So here's the final image. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with the process. I'm really looking forward to posting more art videos in the future. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.